In this video, we're going to show how to hook up the 4 to 20 milliamps. The 4 to 20 milliamps hooks up to the, from, from this count, 1, 2, 3, and 4, the third and fourth, the third is negative, the fourth is positive, and these wires go to, the positive uh, goes to the current side of a fluke meter, so this is amps, DC, current side, 300 milliamps, the minus side, which is the one, two, three, fourth one, this is AO minus on it, goes to the comm side. You then turn the fluke meter to the amps current, and now we're gonna see, this is with nothing running, we're gonna show you how to look at what the thing is. Let's first look at menu 10, menu one, zero. In this one, we're just going to use the, the up and down arrows. We're going to look and make sure that our pipe outer diameter, the pipe inner diameter, the wall thickness, and all these things are correct. If something isn't right, let's say you don't have castor oil, and you have water, 125C, water general, C water, so we have water general, let's say, enter, and then we can go, whoops, enter, and then menu, um, 10, so I'm going to look at all these, water general, clamp on M2, the type of the meter, the V, the spacing, all that stuff's written in your cheat sheet. And now we're going to look, let's measure, right now it's reading 4 milliamps, or close to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use menu 55, menu 55, five. and I want to see that four, we're using 4 to 20 milliamps, we could use... Uh, whoops, enter, we could use 0 to 20 if you want, 0 to 20 via RS-232, 4 to 20 versus sound, we don't want that, 20 to 4 to 20, this is for negative positive flow, 0 to 4 to 20, negative positive flow, what 20 to 0 to 20, uh, the zeros the uh, off and full scale, but what you want is the 0, 1, Zero, zero, four to 20 milliamps, enter. And now we'll, the four milliamps is zero gallons per minute. If we don't like, we, we want zero gallons. The next one is 20 milliamps is 10 gallons per minute. It's just like an example, we're using 10. The next one is the checkup, the four to 20, I'm gonna hit enter, and we're gonna use the up and down arrows and we're gonna drive the 4 to 20 milliamps, we're driving it to 0, 4 milliamps here, 8 milliamps here, 12, and 16, and 20. You can use something other than a fluke meter. The 4 to 20 of this device is powered by this device. You do not power this 4 to 20 milliamps. This fluke meter is a passive element that has a resistor inside of it that drops the, the current, the 4 to 20 milliamps, and turns it into voltage and then reads current. But this is a current reading machine. This is in the current mode, and we're reading the current across the system. The current is going through this meter. So you could replace this with any device that measures 4 to 20 milliamps. There's some a lot of devices, such as a hobo um, uh, data logger and such. So you'll want to be able to when you're hooking up your device, say a hobo or whatever, you can hook these two wires to the hobo instead of you know leaving them, them here and look and see that your hobo will indicate zero, um, the zero condition here at four milliamps and at 20 milliamps, it'll indicate the 20 condition. The 20 condition in ours is 10 gallons per minute and the zero condition is zero gallons per minute. So that's how it's worked. And if you've got everything set, we do menu two six, and this is where we're saving the settings. And when I hit it the second time, you'll hear a beep. That means it saved those settings. So the meter's now off and running. And if I go menu 10, we can just see what's, what's happening. So this is, remember this is the um, information we've got. So, and then you leave the meter running, it'll revert to real reading. So there you go, how to hook up a 4 to 20 milliamp, any device, to this meter, and then how to check it. Thanks.